So Hans, what do we have here? This is a cast of the reconstructed skull of Anzu, our new dinosaur. And it's noteworthy for a number of features. It has a strange bony crest like a cassowary bird. It has a beak rather than any kind of teeth. It has a really peculiar jaw joint. You see this groove here? On the lower jaw, we have ridges that fit into this. And so it can actually slide this jaw back and forth to cut up vegetation, small animals, whatever it was eating. So that's how it eats. Without teeth, that's right. how it yeah. eats. So it has a bird-like beak, and it may work with that. You see this really sharp crest here of the bone. You can see all these grooves and little holes here. This supported a material much like a fingernail or bird beak over this. So how big would this have been? This creature reached a length of at least three and a half meters and stood about 1.5 meters at the hip. And why is it so important? It is the first time that we have, based on these three partial skeletons that we're describing, a picture of what these animals looked like. We had sort of little pieces of bones, little individual bones, sets of bones, for over 100 years. But this is the first time that we really get an impression of what this creature looked like. Basically like a large ground-dwelling bird, an emu, an ostrich, crossed with a alligator because this thing has this long huge long tail and some other reptilian features. And does it tell us anything about dinosaurs in general that we didn't already know? Well first of all it shows yet another lineage of very bird-like dinosaurs are giving further evidence that birds really are just a lineage of small predatory dinosaurs and secondly it also greatly increases the diversity of dinosaurs that were alive at the very end of the Cretaceous period just before we had the asteroid impact. And that's very interesting because it was long thought that dinosaurian diversity was actually on the decline at that time. But this find, along with some other recent finds, clearly shows that dinosaurian diversity was not very much diminished at this point and that this end Cretaceous catastrophic impact really did a job on ecosystems. So in other words, when the asteroids hit, that was the end of the that dinosaurs? That was the end of the dinosaurs, other than birds. <laughs>